Is anyone else anti-military, pro-veteran? U.S. This is not an extremely uncommon stance. Most anti-war people I've met are very pro-veteran and many use them as examples as to why they're against war, e.g. poor state of veteran centers. Vet here. I agree. I loathe war and the military-industrial complex. But I support the people who serve in the military. I support our veterans. And like you said the best way to do that is not create any more. I definitely agree with this. For me. It's because veterans seem to be victims of a flawed system. And there's nothing we can do to prevent the things they've already endured. The current military culture is toxic and exacerbates the issues gaining awareness in military camps. Sexual assault, harassment against women. Groupthink. Ineffectiveness of whistleblowers. Discouraging questioning authority. PTSD, mental health. Homelessness, lack of benefits. And are part of the system that hurts all of society. You'd be surprised to know how many of us veterans agree with this. Edit, typo. First I'd like to say that as an active duty soldier. The US military is a corrupt organization through and through. All the way from the president to the organizational leadership at the bottom. There is a culture of subjugation. Nepotism. An elitism that you will not find anywhere excluding law enforcement and politics. But the regular Joes at the bottom of the ladder are just normal people. A lot of them are just trying to make a living for their families. Some of them are trying to escape their hometowns and the military was the only way. Some are just aimless kids who didn't know what to do in life. And free college benefits all of them. Most people don't know this. But a lot of soldiers hate the US military just as much or even more than regular citizens. I signed up at 17, got out in 6 after going to Afghanistan. From 2006 to 2007. My main reason for leaving was because I saw reality. What dumbass freedom are we fighting for? Mainland United States is not at a threat. We have the most powerful military in the world and all Seve done with it is set up every single terrorist organization we are fighting against and fucked up mode of South and Central America. We are the bad guys. No, we can't help any of these people because we need to bomb Syria some more American government. Probably. I am in complete agreement. I support people who have been to war. And have fought, died for my country. But I am anti-war. So somewhat anti-army, I do believe that an army is necessary. As without one. You are unprotected. And they act as an emergency service for the emergency services sometimes. But I am against how the government uses the army to just go and fuck another country up. I do find it ironic. However. That the people that support the army are the same people that are against refugees coming into the. Country. If we didn't fuck their homes up. They wouldn't need to come here. Woman raising hand medium skin tone woman raising hand medium skin tone. God. I really hope this is not a niche take. Absolutely. PTSD riddled veterans and the people who signed up solely for economic reasons have all my respect. I just fucking hate the concept of wars and especially wars being fought by the poor on behalf of the rich. You know. Why don't presidents fight the war? Why do they always send the poor? And all that. We care about our troops. Shouts the man who thinks it's a good idea to send people into a land they're unwanted in to be. Shot at in order to maintain an empire that will discard them upon their return. Thank you for your bravery, will be told the veteran. Who lost a leg for oil companies against an enemy that was otherwise not threatening him.
I'm so proud of you, said the father to his son who went to die in a desert because he could not afford college or was lied to about the glory of his service. They are our enemy, was told the man who was sent to perpetuate a war that has lasted a generation, in which children were born and matured into adults knowing only of the foreigner who entered their lands and bombed their cities. I think it's very reasonable and nuanced to be disgusted by the actions of the U.S. military and their exploitation of poor or otherwise marginalized people. I can also feel bad for those marginalized people who are bribed with higher education benefits and given a false impression of what the military is actually like. Three things. 1. Speaking as a veteran. You feel how you feel. You don't need to justify it. 2. Emo. Instead of not supporting the military. Your focus should be on politicians. The U.S. military doesn't do anything without direction from the legislative and executive branches. 3. Keep in mind that not all missions in the military are focused on conflict. This is very common, even for vets and service members. Veteran here. 100% agree with your stance. I am proud of my time but I don't agree with a lot of the ideology and I really don't agree with the amount of money wasted on endless wars and useless failed airframes. The amount of money spent at the end of every fiscal year just so we don't lose it from the budget. The next year is disgusting. Let's take that money and invest it in fixing the people we broke. I know this is more an American thing and they are indeed in war in those countries I don't recall anymore. In my country you had to go to military till recently like 1980. We didn't had wars but we were under a dictature up till 74. All our parents who were born up till 70 went to the military. But now we don't have much use for it unless going to Africa even then is just for protection. I understand we need military but we don't have much use of it. But in America is still a big ass thing. It's concerny bg when you see people who aren't that tough or mentally stable go to the military for the benefits. But what cost? Lots of them come out with PTSD. We already have to take care of the ones who were in big wars. But making it look like people don't have an option is just an absurd, I still don't understand why. America needs so much the military so I comment on that. I'm currently in the army reserves. I'm not necessarily anti-military, but I am definitely against how we currently run it. We spend way too much money and they don't actually care about the well-being of their soldiers. They pretend to. But they don't. Which is why there are so many homeless vets and so many vets that commit suicide. I think if you're anti-military, you're pro-people. Veterans are people too. So as an active military member. I agree with some of this but you have a few misconceptions. First off. Although the US military is massive. Active duty makes up less than 1% of the U.S. population. Also, of the less than a 1%, only about 10% actually see any kind of combat. The idea the millions of soldiers are signing up and seeing unspeakable horrors is mostly Hollywood. There are literally millions of people in the military whose jobs have nothing to do with combat. We have one hundreds of admin supply, computer, communication, mechanics, and tons more of actual jobs that need to happen for every one soldier with a rifle. There is a rate, job title, in the U.S. Navy for people who stock vending machines and cut hair. I agree. There should be other ways to get college paid for. No one should have to take on a mortgage worth of debt for an education. But the idea of what the military is like to civilians is far from reality. 
If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.